Hi, good afternoon. I'm Pete Horton. I'm Vice President of Market Development for the Watchstopper. And we're at Light Fair 2011. And Watchstopper is showing our intelligent building strategy with our lighting controls and plug load solutions. One of the benefits of, of building an intelligent building is that we can, do, we can build these for less capital cost. One of the ways we do that is we, we uh, focus on uh, delivering a room control solution using our digital lighting management platform. We solve the energy code very simply on a room-to-room -room basis. Once we get outside that room, we're using our open standards uh, protocols like BACnet MSTP to share information between the rooms and the centralized controls. In addition, we can share the same trunk that's controlling our lighting controls, managing our lighting control system with the HVAC systems. Today, we're showing uh, integration with the Allerton control systems throughout this booth. As part of an intelligent building, one of the things we get is data. Now, data by itself isn't really helpful, so what we need are analytics to help see what's going on in our building. In this case, we're looking at each individual office where we're sub-metering the lighting. And we get to look at the real-time power density that we're using in each one of these spaces. So over time, I can see how much power each office is using, and then I can keep track of that and then use additional analytics to see where the problem areas in my building are. And it may be a lighting power density issue or it may be a runtime issue where the controls aren't working properly. So the analytics help us identify fairly quickly where the challenges are in reducing our energy in our buildings. The architecture of digital lighting management is a room by room basis. And here we have a classroom application where we have our enhanced lighting controller. It has three different uh, control points doing analog and dimming control. We have a digital occupancy sensor that connects on the RJ45 in-room network. It's all digital, no potentiometers or dip switches in here. All of these set points are available on the building automation system. Our switches, like the sensors, are all digital, just connecting on the CAT5 network, so it's easy for a contractor to install and commission. This is our scene controller. It allows the occupant to set the different light levels or scenes that they might want to have. In a classroom, it might be low level or illuminating the uh, blackboard. We've also added plug load control in this area. And with these enhanced controllers, we're doing the power monitoring that we uh, demonstrated on the previous graphic screens. This dashboard by Advanced Power Controls brings the intelligent building back to a single dashboard. Here we're showing the classroom application that we just demonstrated uh, combined with the heating and air conditioning controls on a single dashboard. It, we can see the uh, power consumption for both the lighting and the plug loads on this screen as well as the HVAC controls monitoring all the temperature in the space. So this is a, a more cost-effective way of using the same open interoperable technology platform of BACnet and Ethernet using web services being demonstrated at our booth at Lightfair.